Our topic is God of Equality. God of Equality. Our devotion for today comes to us from Isaiah chapter 45, verse 1. And it says, Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him and lose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors, so that the gates will not be shut. My friends, it is very surprising to read the king of Cyrus, who was an idol worshipper, has been anointed or ordained by God. How is it possible? How was a king of Persia could be anointed by God? My brethren, it is not only in the Old Testament time. Even now, even today, people are affected by caste, creed, and color. You are this caste, you are that caste, you are this color, and you are that color. I am rich, you are poor. People are really discriminating one another. But our God is the God of equality. God doesn't discriminate anyone. He ate with sinners, touched the leper, talked to the prostitutes, accepted the sinners as disciples. There are no separate blessings for particular caste. There is no special cross for particular people or color. There is no special judgment for a particular creed. Nobody can pray in the name of caste or color, but only through the name of Jesus. Why we should not discriminate against anyone in the name of color or caste? Our creed? Bible gives three answers. Number one, Acts chapter 17, verse 26. It says, We are all created by one blood. My friends, there is no cost. We cannot treat people by color or by creed or by cost. Nobody can say that this cost is higher or superior or this color is universal and acceptable. No color. People have different color blood. Number two, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. Gospel is for all. There is only one gospel for Hindus, for Muslims, for Christians, even for Buddhists. The gospel of Christ transforms every person equally. And number three, Hebrew chapter 9, verse 27, judgment for all equally. God's judgment is for all equally. There is no special judgment to any religion or to any caste or to any color. The Spirit of God is the helper for everyone equally to prepare the people for judgment. It is only you and me divide people into many names, into many color, into many caste. My friends, today, are you affected by discriminations? Are you the person who was humiliated because of certain people or community? Here is the prophecy. Revelation 21, verse 3. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. God doesn't come for certain people or for certain caste or for certain color. For God, everyone is equal because our God is the God of equality. Let's pray. Dear Lord, as we see in the world, it is very doleful to see discrimination 
color differences, caste differences, creed differences, religious differences, and people hate one another. Lord, please forgive us and help us to love one another as you love every person. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for this wisdom. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you.